I'm Teacher Ray from VIP Kid, and on a Facebook group for digital effects, a lot of people have been asking about the new ManiCam and a tutorial on how to use it. So there are a lot of people who have been doing it longer than I have. Um, the special effects that I'm going to show you today are actually on the Google Drive in the Facebook group. If you are not sure about the Facebook group I'm talking about, I'll put a link in at the bottom of this video. If you are a VIP kid teacher and you want to use some special effects in your classroom, um, you can join the community of people that are using special effects like this. So this tutorial, um, the only thing that I'm going to show you that I've actually created is my welcome screen. Uh, all the special effects for the reward systems are found in that Google Drive that have been made by some awesome people. So um, I will see if I can tag some of those people or write them to give credit to the people who have created these things. Um, but just know none of it is from me except for my welcome screen. So here is ManiCam. I'm doing a screen share uh, so that you can see what it looks like when you have ManiCam opened on your desktop. And let's just do a little um, lay of the land to see what we have. At the bottom, you will see your video feeds. Now, in the previous versions, these video feeds were off to the right side of the, um, you see my arrow? Yeah, they were off to the right side of this, the menu. Um, and they've moved it in this updated version, they've moved them to the bottom um, of, your, of your screen. So I haven't found any problems with it. It's just trying to like retrain your eyes and how you use the program. But what I do is in my first two feeds, I have my welcome screen and my goodbye screen. And these are great tips. Um, when I heard about somebody using them in their classroom, I thought it was so clever. Uh, you can, you know, arrive early in your classroom to set your PowerPoint up or do anything that you need to in your settings. And you can have this ready while they're waiting for the countdown to start at zero. Um, and this, I think, just says uh, class will begin soon, this um, phrase in Chinese. So when the class is done at minute 25, I pop over here and it says, please leave feedback. I'm not sure with the screen being so small in the portal, I'm not sure if people can actually read that, but hopefully the little five apples <laughs> gives the hint. Um, all right, so now I'm coming back to the actual video feed. If you go to the very top right, it says video. This shows you the different picture and picture modes that you could do if you wanted to create a background that is a graphic or media file but you still wanted the video feed to have the picture in picture you could open up a second video feed so that is the top of the menu right here this video this is how you can set your video now with your main screen just one feed going in um, I'll go back to that screen that hello screen all this is is a picture. If you see, if you right click, oh, the right click's not showing up on the screencast. Um, if you right click and then select media files, a box will open up, a window will open up where you can actually select a graphic. I'll see if I can figure out another way in the video to go ahead and maybe give a tutorial on just the um, opening and closing screens. All right, so let's finish going through ManiCam. Video, right up here, when you click video, you will see 
the different options. What I like to do in each of these video feeds that you see down at the bottom, I like to have a set of rewards in my window. I'm going to come over here to the side of the menu and click effects. This is where all of your effects will be that you have downloaded to the program. I'm going to scroll through here so you can see. It is overwhelming. Every single object that you have downloaded is in this huge folder and there's really no way to easily view them or get to them quickly except if you go ahead and open each one that you plan to use and click up here it will um, this little button right up here it's not showing up on the video screen but it will give you options to show or hide all the effects and it will also give you an option to remove the effects from the list so if I put show or hide all you'll see all of a sudden they all pop up right here I'm gonna hide them all again and I'm gonna show you how you can one at a time this reward system is on the Google Drive of apples and the worms you can click this little like eye with a line going through it that means it's hidden and that means that now it is showing hidden showing so in addition to your star rewards you can have an apple pop up and be like good job and you can may have something funny like the little worm and like, oh no the worms eating your apple so it's just an additional reward system your secondary reward system and that is all I have open in video feed 3 that I'm in right now so now I'm going to hide them all and I'm gonna go over to video feed 4 I have well, I've somehow changed different color settings in here but over here I have placed all of my Mr. Potato Head reward systems so you can show and hide in order like hey you've got Mr. Potato Head yay good job and then you can add his um, hat his ears his uh, shoes Let's see, where's his eyes? Eyes, arms, uh, glasses, nose, mustache. So you can build a Mr. Potato Head. Um, I think that's better for some of the older kids um, that don't like really cutesy things. Like that apple reward might go really good for a younger child in Mr. Potato Head. Hey, it's fun for some of the older kids. All right, so now we're going to hide all of these. And I'll go over to video feed five. And this is one from teacher Ellie. I do remember um, because she has a YouTube tutorial about her favorites. I'm going to show you the two that she had mentioned. And they are favorites for some of my kids too. So the, the road reward, say that five times fast road reward, road reward, <laughs> uh, you can give the child a piece of a road every time they do a good job and oops, and then at the end of class they can pick either the car, come on car, there it is, or the truck and you say would you like to choose the truck or the car truck or car and whichever one they pick usually my kids pick the car I'll hide the truck and I make them say one two three go and then yeah, make it really silly and then as I'm going I'll say stop and wait for them to say stop and then stop and yay you're the winner so that's a very fun reward system and then the last one that I'm going to show you let's see how long this video seems like it's probably been going on quite a while yeah almost 10 minutes <laughs> sorry so the last reward that I'm going to show you is 
the um, the three to one reward where you can do three bananas to one star so if they earn three bananas then I put on the monkey face huh, and the monkey eats the bananas um, 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 <laughs> and they get a star and you can be silly um, so they really like that reward too and that's also from teacher Ellie so that's just showing you kind of where everything is in this new updated version of Manny Cam. Um, I wanted to show you real quick to another feature that I like. Right down here, this is new. It's called Favorites. You can make any um, different feature of Manny Cam as a favorite and to make it easy to go back and forth between my effects and up here um, you can also put favorites in this heart if you have something that you might do a lot in addition to your reward system that you're using to make it quick to go back and forth from things you can add it to this favorites category here for your um, effects so I always kind of keep it up here on the selected effects this shows me what my secondary reward system is and again it's easy to go back and forth between using my reward system during class and then going to the video feed that's my opening or closing screen. The last one, the favorites down here. I've added text, the text option which I believe is text actually in um, effects I can't remember. Um, where is it in? Oh, it's in draw. So over here in draw, um, you can turn text on or draw. Oh, I guess that I've added them both to favorites. I could just go to draw. Um, but it's really cool. Uh, if you turn text on, you can type things down at the bottom like A, A, B, B. Somebody in the group made a really cool tutorial on how she does a bouncing ball sing-along. I love it. I've used it with some of my pre-VIP kids. And then the draw option, um, it's just really good for some of my pre-VIP kids too. Even during the reward system, well, before I do something, I have, what is this? You know, and you can use the clear um, so drawing on the screen. I hope that helped. I didn't talk about how to actually like download and save the objects but it's just like any other Windows um, or computer program where you want to add something to the program and you just go and find where you saved it on the computer and and load it. Um, I will show you the button that you would press to find that Oh, you know what? Let me so you can see everything there. Um, it's right up here, this plus button. If you click that and then add new effects, it will open up a window for you to load the effects that you've saved. All right, I hope that was helpful. I'm going to do another tutorial of my students' favorite web-based game at abcyaw.com. So I'll do another tutorial that way it doesn't make this one too long. Hope that was helpful. Goodbye. See you again. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.